Does anyone else like to just more? Okay. Now we got to start telling them down the road that's where your knees went on you. Listen, don't give me a hard time because I see you riding around in that pumpkin wagon all day. You ain't getting the exercise that I am. Yeah, but I'd get the exercise picking those pumpkins. I bet you did. Um, and you didn't have any illegal aliens helping you, I'm sure. I got them hiding out in the woods. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's turn to some serious issues here. Um, for, for the record, of course. Uh, I, I know you're very diligent in, in trying to make improvements. In fact, I spoke with uh, Councilor Coron after the last meeting about some particular items. And um, I think you ought, you ought to be embarrassed by the fact that there were four of you voted on a resolution. And I see only two names on it. And obviously, you're both running for office. Why weren't the other two councilors put on that resolution? And, and also, I see uh, Mr. Meyer's name was on there also because he certainly stuck around to have his uh, participation in that issue, but why weren't the two lady councillors included on that letter? Because it wasn't their idea? Or? I mean, it's a part of, part of the board. Traffic issues are always part of our concerns. I'm sure they are, and I'm sure I, as a resident, would like to know that it's your concern also, but the fact remains, if someone would like to answer that, why wasn't their name on the letter? Other than the format, not containing their names. Is there something wrong with the format of the letter that went to the people? No, no. In fact, I do have a question on it. I, well, and all I did the vote on it. I'm sorry, Mr. Blue. All the residents didn't get the letter in the uh, neighborhoods. I was one of the people that didn't get a letter. Why not? Don't you live over there? I well, know. yes, yes, I, I, I do. As a counselor, I, I did not get a copy of the letter. As a counselor, I did not get a copy of the letter. And the letter was based on a resolution that I voted yes on. I take exception to that fact. It was mailed to you. I'm sorry that you didn't receive it. Well, I certainly, Charlotte, did you get a copy of the letter? We should have gotten as, copies as of the letter as a counselor. As counselor should have and a and my, I did not get a letter <coughs> mailed to my house. I did not. I did not take the opportunity to talk to either one of these ladies or anyone on the board prior to my question tonight. But can either one of you answer that question for me? Why your two names went on a letter and not theirs? And I know Mr. Rybeck wasn't here, so perhaps that's why his name wasn't on the letter. He was not at the meeting. Tom, I've sent out other letters with my name Let's on the Let's be specific, long. please, on my question. Deputy I understand. Why weren't their names on it if they were at the meeting? It is what it is, Tom. What do you it want it to is. Say? It's a political piece. Is it was that a correct? letter that went to the neighbors about a traffic concern. But why there. weren't their names on it? You weren't at the Does meeting. Does that make it different? Yes, it does. It, does. it absolutely it does. does. And I bet you can ask for a show of hands. Everyone in this room would agree with that. Let's keep it down to a civil tone. Yes, sir. If you had voted yes, you would have wanted your name on it. No, I wouldn't. It doesn't oh, matter to me. On, it know. doesn't matter. As long as the people get the information, it doesn't matter. I didn't get a copy matter. of it either. I didn't get a copy of it. That doesn't you're a, matter. You're a board. You're a five-member hey. board. Mr. Blue, I guess the stage. All right, so they refuse yeah, to answer the question. That's fine. Uh, the other question I have is part of the question that was raised in the letter um, obviously, they have other solutions, but we feel that it is important that we impress them with the necessity of addressing the situation. What other solutions would the county have that are different from the town boards? Can someone answer that? Because that was specific to the letter, so I'm sure someone must have an idea why the county's plan would be different than what the town might propose. One of the big, biggest issues we get on a daily basis when people call into Linda when they get stuck in a traffic jam, wherever they may be, is they blame us, the town. What they don't understand is South Bay Road and Thompson Road are county roads. So they think we're responsible for everything. That was, that was the basis of the letter. And one of the other things, what I'm hearing, is the possibility they may put some turning lanes in, but that's not in, in stone yet. Well, I have um, some email correspondence that I've been going back and forth with the county on, and Mr. Tom, Tim Coley, who's an engineer with the DOT for the county, I prompted them to get down there and fix those shoulders probably about two months ago. And one of the comments that I had with Tim is, Tim, as per our discussion regarding the shoulders, I think you will find that the shoulder repair work was poorly done and a hot mix with proper compaction would be required. Also, 
I attached some pictures for some work that had been done on a couple of other county roads. I look forward to your comments when you conclude your field review. Tim had called me and said, uh, well, we're having traffic tie-ups there because when we went out and cut and boxed out the shoulders to take them out, we cut all the tails on the loops. Now, anybody knows what a loop is, it's a magnetic detector. And if you cut through it, it's not functional. So traffic comes down at the intersection, and if nobody puts a call in on the other side, that traffic's going to sit there for a month of Sundays. And we had traffic backed up past John Gray Lane there for, for a month, and the county didn't see that. So that hasn't been fixed yet, but it will be. But um, we're out there asking them to do some of the things, obviously, that you are pursuing at this point in time. Again, I would also, and, and I'm not going to have time tonight, but I've been corresponding back and forth with uh, Assemblyman Al Sturpey regarding some of the issues pertaining to traffic and gridlock on Route, 8, uh, Route 31 and the I-81 interchange, which will be time for another meeting some night. But again, getting back to the question that you raised regarding Gillette and South Bay, and of course Thompson, and also uh, Thompson and South Bay, when Williamson Farms was put in probably several years ago, we knew then the Gillette Road was nothing but a farm path. I mean, it was a, it was a farm road uh, for farms that used to be back there. And nothing's been done by the town to upgrade that road, fix the drainage. If I may ask the highway, have you done anything in specifically, any kind of major improvement there? No, we haven't. There was with, it was on a list with uh, five roads. McKinley, the Pen Camwall Corridor, uh, Gillette, Circle Drive. Those are going to be all taken care of, and uh, that will probably be looked at in another year. I guess, how can you expect the county to want to come in and solve all of our problems when we haven't done anything to address them ourselves? Gillette Road is, is a is a an intersection that they will not build an intersection like that at an angle anymore because of the site distance problems. And yet we haven't done anything to address it in several years. We haven't widened the road. If you go down through there any time of day in the afternoon on a beautiful day like today, you're going to see parents or mothers walking their kids in, in uh, baby carriages or kids riding a bike out there. That road's 10, 11 feet wide. It's a very unsafe situation. We've done nothing, nothing since 300 homes were placed there. And now we want the county to come in and fix it for us. I think they ought to be telling us, when you start fixing your roads, we'll help you. And I'm sure that's what their comment's going to be. They may someday want to put in a light there because it is a dangerous intersection. I, I, I think we've actually taken strides to improve the roads in Cicero. We're talking about Circle Drive, investing millions of dollars, uh, the Kinley Road projects. We're, we're, we have made good faith efforts to try to improve the infrastructure of our, of our roads. To I don't help disagree people. with that, Council. Right. So I mean, what I have a problem with right. is a letter coming out a month before an election with two people that are running for office signing off on it. That's, that's outrageous. It's a political hack piece. That's all it is. And we'll just leave it there, I guess, because everyone realizes that. Thank you.